Yes! 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 <laughs> yes! I have not been this skinny and muscly for like 10 years. So you know what that means. It is time to start my professional wrestling career. And how do you start a professional wrestling career? With a luchador mask. Number one, they're amazing. Number two, I'm a 30 year old with pimples. So we need to cover them up if I'm gonna be a big time, prime time professional wrestler. So let's make a luchador mask. Let's make a mask. So if you'd like to follow along at home, first we need to make a pattern. And for that, we need glad wrap or cling film or whatever they call it in your country. Duct tape, I prefer white, and a sharpie. First thing you do, get your cling wrap, cover your face and head. Be careful to put breathing holes in it, obviously. Also, you do want to make some eye holes, as after a couple of layers of this, you will not be able to see. Completely wrap your face. So this is basically your mask. But to give it a bit more rigidity, so we can keep it, we're going to put duct tape over all of this. Just do little bits. If you just... Precious. Rawr! How does it look? <laughs> yep, so this here is the template and we'll fix it in a minute. But now you need to cut it off your face without cutting your hair or your face with scissors. Found some. Oh shit, I just kicked my toe. Ooh. Ah! I feel like Leonardo DiCaprio, a man in the eye mask, and my evil twin is the king, and I've been hidden away because I'm the nice one. So, uh, and take it off. <gasps> oh, I'm sweaty. Now what we do is we sketch on here what we want it to look like. First of all, eyes. I think they're too small at the moment. Let's make them a little bit bigger. I think that's a good size. Let's do some cutting. It's tape, so if we need to add more tape to fix it, who cares, doesn't matter. Cutty, cutty, and the eyes. Cut an eye. Is this a mask that we like? It's still hard to get on. Yeah, I need more nose. I need more nose. No, I look like Squidward. You know what? I think that's perfect. I think that is perfect. Now what we need to do is take this and make it into a flat shape. So if we give it a cut there, and a big old cut down here, there we go. I have done it. Now, let's do that for the other side. Not the other side of this, this, this side. And there we are, flat as can be at the moment. Now we need to put these onto cloth. I have found some upholstery fabric. It's tests, we might use it for the, these actual, these chairs. These chairs, we might be replacing this, this green with this pink, uh, and I'm gonna use it. And because we are sewing, we do need to leave like a bit around it. Get your Sharpie, perfectly trace around everything. Oh, oops. It was stuck to itself. 
I thought my eye looked a bit... Oh, no. I thought it looked a bit weird. Okay, let's... Oh, well, good thing it's on the back. Good thing it's on the back. Now, do that, but make sure that all of the bits are seen. Okay, let's start here, then. Perfect. Now... Ignore the bad bits. Draw the sewing bit. So we need to leave a little gap around it all to sew onto. And there we have it. Two sides of a mask. And now we cut them out. Yeah, so I will keep cutting. And oh, look at that. We are done. Uh, I hope that lined up well. We've got two sides. One side of a mask looks like this and the other side of the mask is going to look like this does that make sense and now we get to do the fun part get all this off get all this off thank goodness the lid was on the pen we get to sew oh this is heavy now what we do inside out Let's start with the big one here. Add it together. Start from the inside and work our way out. I'm not the best sewer. I think you'll forgive me. Thank you. But let's figure it out, eh? I'll tell you what, that's not bad. Oh shit, what happened? The bottom bit keep giving so much. Oh shit, too fast. Oh fuck, there's a hole. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Oh. What was that? Oh, that's jam tees. Oh, have you done that? Oh shit, are we, no, we're okay. We're okay. Oop. We're not okay. I think that looks good. I could easily be a Netflix Marvel superhero. Not the A grades, but like, oh yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, the eyes are a little bit wonky and there's string and cotton hanging off everything and some bits don't match, but I think that's a start. I am definitely on my way to be a professional wrestler. This mask is <laughs> a lot better than I thought it was ever going to come out. Yes, there are some things though I do need to fix. Here, have a look at this. So the back here. It's coming apart. I just need to redo some of that. And also, I'm going to cuff it over on itself right around the edges to make it look a little bit more tidy and put a bit of a chin strap on with some Velcro. So let's do that now. And the next time you see this, it will just be tidier. And then we can get to the fun part of it, zhuzhing it up. Yes, 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 I have done it. Quick, I know. Couldn't even tell that this is actually the next day. Uh, yes, I am wearing the exact same clothes, but um, that's for continuity purposes and not because I'm a disgusting slob. So yeah, I've done it. I sewed up the back. No more holes here. I did a little hem around the whole thing. See that? And I added a chin strap with some Velcro and cleaned up the eyes a little bit. Still made sure they were wonky, but cleaner wonky. Here's what it looks like now. How good does that look? That's not coming off anytime soon either. Shake it, it's not going anywhere. Also, fun tip for the strap. Make sure that the one that goes out is the rough one and the one that goes in is the soft one. Because otherwise, if it's off like a little bit, it might get itchy. Now it is time to add the fancy stuff, the panache, the zhuzhing it up a little bit. And here's what I've got for that. Got it. I found some pleather trim that is glittery pink. I was thinking for this mask, we would add the best shape that there has ever been. 
Retro Flames. <laughs> they are the best shape. Retro Flames here. Retro Flames going up this side so everyone knows. Ho oh, ho! He's a hot new talent in the professional wrestling scene. And maybe some flames around the eyes. Make my eyes sparkle a little bit with this. Cutty, 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 cutty. And we're done. I've got four flames. We've got two cheekies. They're going to go like that. Two eyes. They're going to go like that and that. I'm also realizing now it would be easier if I had pins to pin this to it before I sew. But I do not. So let's just sew. Wish me luck. And how do you wish me luck? Uh, by hitting subscribe. Thank you. And there we go, how good does that look? Ow. Just made a mistake. Uh, I've sewn the mask together. So, time to do some unpicking with scissors because I don't think I have an unpicker. Oh, I do, I think. Ha <laughs> unpicker, found one. This may take a while. And it did. It did take me a very long time, but you know what? I stuck with it. I persisted. And if I can get this out of here, I have finished. Look at that beauty. Oh, nearly stumbled at the end, but we got there. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Fantastic! We got the flames on the side. We got the flames and sparkly eyes to bring out my beautiful eyes. We've still got the lopsided eyes. Yes. Oh, I haven't put it on yet. So let's do it, eh? <laughs> First time having a look at what this is going to look like. Ladies and gentlemen, weighing under 90 kilograms, El Tumba! I'm coming for you! I dedicate this mask and my next match to all the haters out there that said I couldn't make a luchador mask. Well, look at this. Look at this beauty. That's a mask that fits, that some would say is hot fire. Look at the fine details. Yes, my eyes look perfect and sparkly with the glitter. Yes, I added this nose bit. Yes, my jaw looks chiseled and strong like I... Oh, oh, come at me. I'll hit ya. I'll give him one of these. Is that still recording? I'll give him one of these. I'll give him one of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Professional wrestling is my life now. Or oh, maybe a little bit of a lockup. I made my own trunks as well. Yes, I cut a little bit too much off the back. So they look like panties. But hey, they'll be watching my physique, my muscles, and my slim body. I challenge anyone to make a better mask than me in the week or so it has taken me to make this mask. I am the champion of amateur mask making. Who can't come at me. Try and stay a hater now, bucko. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or anything, type them down. I'll get back to you. Uh, this genuinely came out a lot, lot better than I expected. Wowza. Thank you. Click the links, please. Uh, I'd really appreciate it.